If you enjoy my work, please tell your local comic shop to pre-order William the Last, number one, published through Antarctic Press. It's in the previews catalog now. Orders are due July 18th. Well, I am in full promo mode for William the Last, issue one, as you can see by the um, ad that was just tacked on to the beginning of this. So I thought for the next, uh, I'm going to do several videos just um, as I go through trying to, um, the things I learn as I promote and talk to people trying to promote this stuff. So that, for those of you that don't know how uh, comic books work, <clears throat> the um, or I know you know how comic books work, but buying and promoting comics and stuff. So um, comic shops order through a catalog called the Previews Catalog. There's basically one distributor right now, Diamond Distributor. So uh, every comic book... Um, from all the companies, I think they have an exclusive contract with Marvel, DC, um, IDW, and the at least at least one time at one time they did. I'm assuming they still do. Um, so anyway, uh, basically, if you're going to put a comic into shops, it has to be in Diamond. Uh, that being a monopoly is is a subject for another video, but that's just the landscape. That's the way it is. So. Um, when you have uh, you do a cover and you do a blurb um, that your publisher will take and put into to the previous catalog, you get a number. Uh, so the number at the, the beginning of the video was uh, uh, JUL eighteen is it eighteen fifty four? I think it was. Um, so any, every issue gets a specific number, and so it comes out. So the book is coming out in September. So it's in the July, July, August, September. So it's two months beforehand. Um, and when someone says it's in the July issue of previews, if you look at the previews website um, or the catalog, it says orders are due by the 18th. So it's actually almost in the middle of the month that comic shops have to order for two months ahead. <clears throat> so uh, the, the trick is to promote it way in advance and try to get comic shops to, um, to order a few copies. In addition to that, um, you need to... Um, get people that want the book to go into shops and pre-order it. I think that's probably the best way. If people are going in and saying, hey, um, I'm interested in this book. Can you order me a copy? Uh, and that person is a, is a customer of that shop and they know uh, the shop owner knows them, that's probably the best way. It's really hard to get uh, shops to... Um, you know, just uh, from an artist they don't know that you don't have a, uh, as a creator, you don't have a personal personal relationship with, uh, to order books blind. Because they're just basically every month they're going through this list, right? They're going through and saying, okay, start at the beginning at, under A. And you go all the way down. The, you order your Marvel, DC, IDW image titles. Then you're going down the list of publishers. And whatever catches their eye, they think they can sell, they'll order. And I did have a, a um, my, one of my local shop owners did say that he th he thinks he, he said that vault like for example if your if your letter is the letter of the your publisher's v um that by the time retailers get to that the v and a lot of times they're right up against the deadline just having to order books for that month and they're physically tired that that'll hurt you because they're just at the end of the book and they're doing their orders and not fresh up in the, the A's. So he said that Am Antarctic is at the beginning is, is a plus. I never thought about that before, but it makes sense. Um, so I had uh, some advice from, from some retailers. You know, if you, if you it's, it's stores that you can physically go to and hand a preview copy is good. And fortunately, I'm in a position where because I did a Kickstarter for this issue a couple years ago, even though the cover is different and in a, in the you know before and after pages, but the issue is the same. So I can actually I have something that I can walk up to a shop and say here here's a preview, introduce myself and things. So I'm gonna try to do that a little bit, but you know realistically you have you know I can't be in the next three week four weeks in every state at every you know shop. So um, I've had I'm and, and I'm just kind of like parsing out some of the advice because the advice has been not contradictory but different like different shop owners because I, I, I'm assuming they you know have different everybody is different in what they would. Um, kind of notice um, having a good pitch the the elevator pitch which is you know if you're standing in an elevator with someone uh, and you have in between you know the lobby and the 10th floor to sell your book what's quick to the point capturing the hook that captures them 
Um, <clears throat> the other thing was, um, I'm probably going to mail some copies just to stores I can. I asked, you know, if, if asked the, the retailer who, who told me that uh, visiting stores helps. If it was was worth it to just mail, you know, copies. He said it wouldn't hurt, but it, it's a chance they could get could get lost in the noise of, you know, people are always, I'm sure other creators are sending things and there's a lot, they've got a lot of stuff. Um, so this is kind of the challenge that I have for the next three or four weeks. Uh, I had someone online tell me, um, a, uh, a link to a few pages, preview pages. Um, I did have someone say something that worked. This was a, a I think, a, um, just a, a fan of comics who wasn't familiar with my work, saw the image in previews, um, was interested because the image grabbed them, said it looked okay, they looked me up, they went straight to my Twitter, my very, and they were saying that this was, I think, something like promotion done right. So when someone tells you that, pay attention. Um, but they said that, you know, they saw it in previews, were interested, looked me up, and the, my pinned tweet on my Twitter page is three preview pages in the cover and information. So think about ways to connect things. I mean, I'm, I've learned a lot about promotion and stuff and some things I just stumble on, but that just seems, that kind of thing just seems to make sense. So, um, so this is, this is kind of where I'm at. I, um, just want to lay out just, you know, how, uh, for those of you that don't know how comic distribution works, uh, you got that window, that one month to try and, um, get retailers to order the copies because that's what the you know because that that's what the success or failure of your book is based on so um so we'll see we'll see how how this goes uh i'm going to be talking it up online i'm going to be talking to comic shops and mailing stuff out um and um so i'll let you know how it goes if you have experience with this let me know what, what worked for you and as if you're a retailer let me know what um uh what kind of things attract you to a book that you're a new book by a creator you may or may not be familiar with? Um, I mean, I've done stuff for IDW for a long time, GI Joe Transformers, but that doesn't mean that you know, I'm not a household comic book name. So, um, can you hear that? I don't know if that's coming through, but the, the birds hatched <laughs> in my chimney, and every time the mama bird comes down the the chimney, they they're getting bigger and they're chatty. Sounds like aliens. Anyway, um, if you're a fan, let me know um, what kind of things grab your attention. Um, I would just be interested to hear what uh, what uh, what works and what doesn't. So, um, again, I will uh, see you tomorrow.